What's up guys? Yeah, the goblin event is coming to an end. Um, I had about 1k tokens, so I decided to uh, invest all of them in these um, hoarded goblin chests. Um, they cost like uh, 5 tokens per chest, so... Um, yeah, I have about, I think that I have a little bit, a little over 200 of these chests. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll see how things work out there, guys. As you can see, I have no gold at the moment, so I am going to, um, yeah, I don't need to keep track of the gold, the incoming gold myself. We can make the, fi we can check on the final balance at the end. Um, I will be adding all of the gold which I loot from these hoarded goblin chests to my um, road to 5 million challenge. Um, yeah, because otherwise it will, it's getting very difficult to complete that challenge as there is not really anything uh, to farm these days. Well, you could say that there's mold which we could farm but that drop rate is so ridiculously rare that I don't really feel like spending time on doing that. First chest and event kit that's that's just great another event kit whoa I'm going to do it like this yeah guys so um it is amazing but once again a bunch of people managed to uh, do exploits in this event um i was really surprised but space time studios actually took consequences against them so um yeah, all of these offenders, they got a 5-day ban and they got removed from the leaderboard. Uh, in my opinion, that's a good step forward, but that doesn't solve anything. Because, I mean, come on, people who abused this exploit for sure managed to get like a few ten thousands of tokens, yeah. Bought eggs and, and these chests with those tokens and then gave it all away to someone else. They said that they track that they track and trace every item which got transferred from those accounts but guys to be quite honest with you i highly 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 doubt that um and also i heard about a few people who were doing this in a legal way in a legit way they got banned too so mixed feelings but okay they took measurements People will think twice before they use another exploit in the future. So yeah, maybe they are on, on track to, to make something good of this game. I don't know. Then another, ver an another very, very funny thing, guys. Um, so my uh, my hero, Darren PR. Uh, we all know him. The biggest cheater in game. The user of Autopotter. Uh, he has scripts to make the uh, timer start faster than Rina. He, ha he, he has it all. He has everything which is not allowed in game. Anyway, he created like a thread on the forums where he was um, showing in a little video the experiences which he had in the new elite. So you could see him running there and dying immediately. So yeah, I was like confused. I was like, Darren, huh? Your script doesn't work anymore. So I posted that in uh, on the forum in a thread. I said, "Huh, problems with your script?" Then today, this this post I made that like a week ago or so. Today I logged in on the forum. I don't know why. Suddenly I had a private message of the forum moderator guys. He said, "I deleted your post. Um, if you have any." Suspicions about people cheating in game. You should always contact support guys. I literally fell off my chair. I Laughed so hard after I read that private message guys. It's it's unreal ridiculous I mean, okay. I know that uh, Seora track he can't do anything about it I mean, I've I've worked at a customer service myself. He has rules to follow and even if he doesn't agree to those rules himself, he still has to follow them or he has to face the consequences. So, okay, no problem, no no hard feelings, but that was a really, really funny PM, guys. So, the moderator actually deleted my private message while that Darren PR, member of Enigmatic, Enigmatic um, is still running around with his banner. So, yeah, instead of banning innocent people in this event because there are people okay i agree people did make ghost parties to go into the portal but that doesn't mean that they exploited the disconnected disconnecting glitch too so yeah they banned um 
a few innocent people note that this is their own fault guys i mean it's normal that people use exploits when they are available um i mean if you compare this event with the previous event i mean you you need an altar relic each time you want to enter a portal well during the previous event you needed one uh relic which you could use continuously for the entire event i mean it's expensive if you want to do leaderboard runs so i understand that people um that people uh, use an advantage uh, as a group of friends as a party to to use one relic and to then kill the boss four times i don't care i haven't used it myself um let me let me prove it immediately because my haters they always doped whatever i say as you can see guys i have killed gorblin zero times zero times i haven't enter the special portal i'm not interested in entering a special portal so there you go guys i am clean as it i'm as clean as it can be okay back to the <laughs> chests yep so yeah i laughed so hard when i read, read that pm guys i was like mm, should i actually bother on trying to co contact the customer support but then i was like Nah, they're not going to do anything against these people anyway. So yeah, that, that was quite funny. That was, by the way, my first personal um, contact with a forum moderator. I mean, I messaged Remium in the past like one time. There was a problem. I am. Um, it was um, during the um, Jewel Lixers weekend. You you could buy Jewel Elixir. It was like eight plot. I bought platinum with PayPal. The money went off my account and uh, I didn't receive my platinum immediately. And as I was worried that I wouldn't get my platinum until Monday, the same day as where the Jewel Elixir event would end, I messaged Remium and I was like, Remium, could you please check this? I screenshotted the confirmation mail from PayPal. But yeah, of course, Remium was too busy handing out names or whatever to two people. I don't know what she was doing, but I never got a reply. So yeah, this was my first contact with a moderator. I am like, yeah, quite proud about it. Thanks a lot, moderator. You are following your rules very well and you're doing an amazing job in maintaining the forum. Uh, anyway, how are we doing, guys? I have no idea. Let's see. 129k gold. Okay. Whew. Going to speed this up a little bit. I am actually very surprised that they removed those people from the leaderboard but the damage already is done that's for sure i mean yeah i have no idea how that it's possible that event after event after event people are able to find and use exploits i don't understand it do they not learn anything from previous mistakes i mean I made a mistake, I learned from it, but yeah, those people apparently don't. I mean, I have no idea what, what it's like to, to maintain the server and yeah, the game's integrity. I have no idea how many people work at Space Time Studios. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the personal view I have on it is quite, quite... Yeah, how do I say that? Be Not being too negative. I, I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm, I am. I have my doubts. Let's keep. Let's keep it at that, guys. Okay, I'm doing very well with these energy kits. I'm looting tons of them, it seems. Okay. Yeah, apparently there also is a new Venom set, guys. It gives you two hundred percent movement speed. So uh, yeah, I want to say good game nice try and goodbye to the twinks who um ruled the watcher stomps leaderboard for the past seven seasons your time is officially over guys it was nice seeing you there but now you can come to endgame and do timed runs there or you won't be on the leaderboard anymore unlucky okay let's see ya guys 5k i'm thinking about something positive which i could say about this event but yeah mm. ah, I, I know something positive which 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 i was very amazed of too um 
major pain and the drop rate of massive glint or goblin chests. I was lucky, or it was just the way it's supposed to draw, but I looted. If I loot, I had a drop. I have over fifty percent uh, massive crate. So every energy kit which I bought was funded with the gold which I made from the massive glint glinter goblin crates. So yeah, that, that's very cool. Thank you, Space Time Studios. I also looted two of those orange frog eggs. So yeah, quite amazing. Very good. Meanwhile, I am getting one hank from. Oi! Come on in, one hank. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the golden days. Ah, okay, I was. So, I wanted to say the golden energy kit days are officially over, but I'm getting them again. So yeah, cool. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit, guys. I want other stuff than angst. Yeah, 5k. That's good. Yeah, 10k. Oh, la, la. Let the money come in, boys. Was dire. <whistles> Looking good, boy. <laughs> Ridiculously retarded. Uh, anyway, bum 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 bum. Okay. Yep. I like the fact that there's a description with these chests so you know what what to expect when opening them. Yeah, I like these energy kits. I want them to keep on coming, please. Bum, 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 bum. 5k yeah more of those 5k's please I don't need any of that pink gear I am fine with the gear which I have Space Time Studios thank you very much oh yes guys if anyone manages to listen to to this I have a question for you um, wizards what's what's the difference between the arcane stuff and the new mythic stuff um, I checked the CS, the auction, and I noticed that the new mythic stuff gives me a lot of in, a lot of extra damage and DPS, but I do lose on a lot of uh, health too. So what would you people advise me to do? Should I get rid of this stuff and buy the new mythic one, or should I just keep the arcane one, and why? I would really appreciate it if someone would post uh, yeah, a, a reaction to that question. I'm going to spam him guys this is well, otherwise it takes way too long let's see it pom 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 Yeah, I need to make sure that I'm opening hoarded goblin chests and not energy kits or something. Yeah, I had 1060 tokens, that's... 1060 divided by 5 is 200 212, which I opened, I think. Let's say 210 because 212 is such an odd number, guys. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Imagine I opened them one by one. Almost there. Two K. 
5k. Um, an Ankh. Ooh. And I go again for the Ankh. 5k, amazing. Okay, let's see. Oh, I have... What is this? Okay, I'll open these thingies too. Nice. A goblin jackpot. Cool. So in total, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one energy kits, and whoa, we have five hundred and forty-eight k gold. Let's see. Yeah, I can't complain, guys. I'm actually very happy. Um, wait. Uh. Let's see. Nope, I'm not selling you my arcane ring, buddy. I bought it very cheap. Got the most amazing deal ever. Uh, energy. 12k okay 12k that's 240k for 20 252 252 that's 800k out of 1060 tokens guys so I uh, if I sell my energy kits I have I can add uh, yeah, I have 21 times 12 is 200 and, oh, come on, 252, odd 252 with this number, that equals 800. Oh, wait, that's a nice round amount. So 800k, which we can add to a road to 5 million uh, balance. I'll have to check my previous video to see uh, what amount I was. Um, yeah. I, I I think that this is a very successful opening because I wanted to get 1.5k so I could get a nightshade. But if we watch at the if we look at nightshade's price at the moment, 920k. But there's a difference of 440 tokens, which means that if you want to book maximum profit from this event, you have to open hoarded chests, guys. That's the big conclusion which I can make after. Um, yeah, opening 210 of these babies. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you, Seo Ratrek, or whatever your name is, for PMing me on the forum. I appreciate it. Uh, guys, good luck if you are still in the run for the leaderboard. Uh, see you next time. Peace!